What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. One of my sponsors, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. Also, we will prefer to influence or use the link at the main comment. Deposit name out of money, they'll give you two free shares. And if you refer three people or more, double check. But I believe you get a free share of Apple as well. I want to just show you that Moonlight Swami turned his comments off. And in my opinion, it's because he knows he has done way too much. He is honestly, and I'm going to prove this in this video. I would think created more lies than anyone I've ever seen from EA Sports. And, you know, I never wish ill on someone's employment. I never wish ill on a person. But I don't know how EA as a company doesn't deal with this on Monday morning. So Elpad, one of my viewers, obviously an adult, looks at this situation. And I just wanted to highlight this entire comment. Because anyone that is an adult, anyone that works, anyone that has employment, knows all of these things are true. So the things that Swami did that most companies would not want a client-facing employee doing, meaning someone that interacts with the customer and their reach knows no boundary, right? He's not just speaking to one person. He could be speaking to millions of people in theory, depending on how many people go to the video. Number one, publicly saying 2K basketball has more users than their game. Definitely something you don't want the NFL to know because the NFL is more popular than NBA. Number two, saying that he is personally dissatisfied with the product, which he said multiple times. Number three, saying that they ignored a segment of their clients for eight years. I'll get into this. Number four, that the social media tools we provide to our clients to interact with the team are a negative echo chamber. I'm gonna get into that as well. By the way, as he mentions here, these are the same tools that they just said, not just a month ago, would be the best way to interact with them. You know, EA with NFL Direct, on Twitter, Kralo handling that whole account, but beyond that, they talk about all the conversations. Despite an annual release, not having the resources to fix all the bugs, having hidden bugs in the game, and the executive's response was to get the ball rolling, i.e. fix Madden franchise, we have to start something. Where does this come from, right? So this is where the contradictions, and I mean, if you want to label them as contradictions, then label them as contradictions. If you want to label them as someone lying, then, you know, I guess you can label them as someone lying. I'm going to err on someone lying. This, this is being disingenuous. This is being dishonest beyond just not having your story straight. So you can see here, I can't speak for what people decided five to 10 years ago. This definitely isn't true when being asked why they can't bring back features. And then he says at the bottom franchise had its first year of focus Madden 22 in a separate post he goes on to kind of emphasize this the Madden 22 is the first year in almost eight years that the mode franchise got the attention it deserved and that the fixed men franchise movement is what started this he then mentions in a separate post where he's talking about being you know gaslighting these people that ultimate team has not been the focus of the game in half a decade. So he's saying right here, in five years, Madden Ultimate Team hasn't been the focus of the game. Then what has been the focus of the game? Right, when you look at what EA said, this is from one of my videos. They talk about the NFL Design Council, where they reviewed over 2 million conversations and brought in community leaders to listen to what they wanted to see the most in franchise. Something isn't lining up. You're telling me that in the last eight years, you haven't worked on franchise to the status you feel it should be. In a five to 10 year window, you haven't set goals for what you want. And within that same five year window, Ultimate Team hasn't been worked on. So the only thing that's been worked on seems to be face of the franchise, superstar KO in the yard, right? That's all he's doing. Then why are all these people getting paid? It doesn't make any sense. This whole rationale of what he's saying doesn't even line up with times or hold water when you look at it individually. He talks about, again, I'm just bringing this up, the negativity from people that follow YouTube, okay? I want to talk about, these are my numbers right here. This is seven days, 5.2 million impressions, okay? Up 15%. Not really the, the best week, not the worst week. Impressions click rate, 9.4% up 2%. My views up about a quarter. Unique viewers, over a quarter million in seven days, right? This is why it is important. He can sit there and belittle all this stuff. He can sit there and say, EA looks at all social media as an echo chamber, but EA also understands these numbers right here. 
You know, this is 5.2 million impressions, roughly a million views in a week. This is a video that EA puts out through the NFL channel on September 9th. You know, today is the 18th. So in 10 days, this video got 60,000 views. In 10 days. In 7 days, my channel roughly got a million views. So... I don't know, again, why he's projecting this negative echo chamber, why it doesn't matter to EA. He's saying all these things that do not make any sense. It absolutely matters. That's why they're going out and getting Little Dicky. That's why they're getting other creators and musicians from social media to help promote their game with very much mixed results. Rivalry Happens Here is a hashtag. A hashtag is used specific to social media to promote something. They are using targeted campaigns to promote their game, while someone working on the game tells you this doesn't matter. While he also says a mixed window of years where they weren't focusing on things with the game and in the community. And I promise you, I haven't done it, but I promise you, there is someone that will go back and look. I have a really hard time thinking that you couldn't take those context messages that he wrote and find in the past eight years, eight years, that they haven't sat there and sold a foundation on franchise. I know last year they sold on franchise because there was such an outrage when they called it classic franchise mode. Imagine somebody telling you they've been working at a gaming company for multiple years and in the same breath, saying in five years, we have not worked on the number one revenue generating mode we have, Madden Ultimate Team. And in eight years, we haven't given the attention to the franchise fans in their game mode. Who does that? Why do that? I mean, do you not have your own story straight? Are you trying to validate why the game is not where it needs to be? Are you confused as to what the actual path EA is taking to make a better game is? I mean, I think we all can say with a certain degree of confidence. In those eight years where he's saying you weren't working on franchise. In those five years that you weren't working apparently on franchise or ultimate team. That they certainly weren't working on presentation. They certainly weren't working on audio and commentating. And I don't think you can make a baseful claim that they were working on actual gameplay mechanics. Because the game, while sure they've added more animations, has largely stayed the same. So what have all these people been doing? Changing the top of the screen with the scoreboard? Making the gamma settings within the game lighter and darker? I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. Now that he talks about it, I understand it less. I mean, we used to just joke around they did nothing, but here he is freely admitting it. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. I would say I'd be back with more commentary, but he turned the comments off, so I don't think he's going to keep writing. He probably knows he's went in a little too deep. Other than that, I do have some more content with what he put out before he all deleted it. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. I will be back in the week with more commentary.